Canva versus PlaySit, the ultimate showdown, which tool is better for print on demand sellers? It's hard choosing the right tool, especially when they both cost, you really got to decide which one is going to be better for you. So that's exactly what I want to cover in this video. I want to talk about the pricing. I want to talk about the commercial use. I want to talk about the design libraries. I want to talk about the mock-up libraries. And that way you can make a concise decision which tool you think you want to go for. Now, before we get into it, if you haven't already subscribed, my name is Shimmy Morris. I bring out videos three times a week about Amazon FBA, print on demand, affiliate marketing, you name it. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? hit that subscribe button. And if you have already recently subscribed, then let me know in the comment section so I can welcome you to this channel. I love responding to every single one of my comments. Let's get right into it. I just wanna say the links in the description down below are affiliate links for Placeit and for Canva. I don't want you to think that I'm tricking you or anything like that. I just want you to know this is going to be a completely unbiased and completely honest review. And if you do decide to you know, get one of the two programs. If you want to use my link, I'll be eternally grateful. You're eternally grateful. But I understand if you don't want to. So let's start with pricing. Placeit has no free option. I know it's annoying, but like they don't have a free option. Placeit costs $14.95 per month. Now, with my link down below, I actually get 15% off for you. Don't ask me how, just, you know, but but the price it makes it go to uh, $12.70 per month. Now, please it also have a yearly option, which is $100 a year, or with my link, what did I say it was? $76.23, which is basically just around six and a bit dollars a month. So if you do get place it, I highly recommend going for the year option because $6 a month is basically one cup of cup one cup of coffee <laughs> one cup of coffee per month gosh that was a hard thing to say so yeah that's place it's pricing i thought i would do this video slightly differently and have a place it guy and have a camera guy and before you're wondering yes these glasses are 100 percent real i just never wear them because i am lazy but anyway we're talking about pricing here now canva pricing i'm the canva guy all right so canva pricing is 9.99 dollars per month or 8.99 pounds per month you can still do a lot of things with the free canva however for print on demand i would recommend getting the paid or the pro canva plan just because you need the pro canva plan if you're using canva properly for print on demand or for anything really unfortunately i couldn't convince canva to actually give a discount so the link in the description is you know the full Canva price. Now let's discuss commercial rights. Place it have full commercial rights and as well as commercial rights, they've also got reselling rights, which means you can create a design, put it on a t-shirt and sell that t-shirt. But as well as that, you can actually, you know, sell place its own designs that you make. So for example, if you are a Fiverr seller selling t-shirt designs, you can create the design on place it and then sell it to you know, your clients. So place it's really, really good with its commercial usage and all of that kind of stuff. So you get a lot of free reign with place it. All I'll say is you still want to try and tweak it and make it slightly unique because obviously you've got their already made designs and all that kind of stuff, but you still want to kind of make it your own just because, you know, it's always better to be unique. Now on Canva, apparently the full pro and the free version come with full commercial rights when using their images. This is a, a really sticky subject because, you know, I did a lot of digging and I'm talking about a lot and a lot and a lot of digging to try and get the most accurate information for you. So I've actually left a link in the description below if you want to do your own research on this. But I would say in terms of camera, ca Canva, um, you can, you they do have commercial rights. You can sell the designs on t-shirts, but I would say don't listen to me when I say that. Go and do your own research on it because it's a bit iffy and it's not so, you know, set in stone and so clear. Whereas with Placeit, it is quite clear. Now let's discuss the design library. Placeit have a huge design library and I mean huge. They have tons and tons of designs ready to go. And you can see I'm just scrolling down, tons of designs here. Now, the cool thing about Placeit is they will continuously update these designs really, really frequently because you're probably thinking, everyone is going for these same designs, They're not very unique, but don't worry because they are continuously updating them. And as well as their design library, they also have a logo library, which I know most people don't, but you can use it on t-shirts. I find it very, very cool to use the logos on the t-shirt. They're very cool in-depth logos. 
And again, the logo library is also absolutely massive. So please it have a pretty large library when it comes to, you know, ready-made designs. Now Canva do have quite a large library and you can see here, they have a very, very large library of ready-made t-shirt designs as well. But as well as that, they also have a humongous library. And if you have the pro plan, you have over 60 million different graphics and images and things that you can use for just designing a t-shirt from scratch. But again, if you don't wanna design a t-shirt from scratch, they do have a pretty vast t-shirt design library as well. Now quickly, let's just discuss transparent backgrounds. And I'm only discussing transparent backgrounds because this is a focused print on demand video and transparent backgrounds are vital. And basically what this means is it means that you are able to save your design with no background. So instead of it looking like this, you know, with a white box, it looks like this and that's what it should look like. Okay, so with Place It, you can save everything with a transparent background, absolutely no problem. You just have to click the, the color and then go to transparent background and then save it like that, absolutely no problem. Now let's just quickly discuss mock-ups. Again, because this is, you know, print on demand focus, mock-ups are really, really important. And I use mock-ups for everything and i'm not just talking about print on demand i'm talking about all my business stuff you know having images on an iphone images on a mac everything you see in this youtube uh channel with mock with like an iphone or something i've probably used mock-ups with it so in terms of mock-ups with place it place it to have probably the largest library of mock-ups and that is because it originally was a mock-up website okay i did everything afterwards so place its library of mock-ups is vastly superior to anyone i've ever met before and i just think it's incredible and it's very important that you actually use mock-ups in print on demand especially because people want to see designs on a model and a mock-up allows you just to simply click a button, upload your design, and you can see it across all the different models, which is really, really important. Canva don't really do mock-ups, and this is the biggest difference between Placeit and Canva, is that Placeit have the largest mock-up library, and Canva don't really have a mock-up library. And with Print On Demand, you need to have mock-ups. They're just so important. So with Canva, you do get a few random mock-ups of you know, an iMac or an iPhone or an iPad, and I'll show you them here, but there's nothing substantial. There's no like people with t-shirts or anything like that or hats or tote bags or anything like that. So Canva cannot offer you, you know, proper mock-ups. I would say that's pretty much all you need to compare. There are obviously other factors like, you know, images and graphics, the quality of the graphics. I would say both are just incredible. If you're thinking of just, you know, images and graphics, Canva have a much, much larger library of graphics, uh, but Placeit I think is generally quite easy to use. Um, it's just a lot of it is done for you. And one really cool thing that Placeit does is you can actually have it be, be editing a logo, right, like this, and you can literally click something and it updates the whole thing for you and it, everything works around it, the text stretches around it and it all works around it for you. So it's basically doing the design work for you. So that's what Placeit is really cool for. Now Canva has a huge library, like literally over 60 million um, graphics. Now obviously that's with the, the paid plan, but it's just such a vast library of graphics and if you want to have a bit more customization, you wanna you know completely do it from the ground up kind of design, then Canva is really, really good for that. Now, for me, honestly, I have both. I have a Placeit membership and I have a Canva membership. And the reason for this is I use Placeit for so many different things. I use it a lot for mock-ups, like a lot for mock-ups. And as well as that, I use the logos a lot for my Amazon FBA business. The t-shirt designs are very, very cool. So I use Placeit for that. And then I also have Canva and I use Canva for creating slideshows, for creating my Instagram posts, for creating other social media, you know, posts and stuff and creating quick images on the fly. So I like using both of them. And also I really, really like to use Canva specifically for Instagram. I know I said it, but I want to stress it because all of my Instagram is done through Canva. So I actually see quite a lot of value in both. However, if you are thinking, I can only afford one shimmy, which one should I go and do? Well, this is how I'll say it. If you are generally focused on print on demand, right? It's your main, main focus, then I would say go for place it because it will just suit your needs so much better. But if you're, you know, into doing general internet marketing, 
info products, YouTube, you're just in the general internet marketing space, then I would say go for Canva because Canva is really, really good for that stuff. So pick where you are and choose wisely, right? Now, obviously, if you can afford both, I really recommend both. I think they are genu genuinely really, really good. But obviously, just start with one if you're trying to, you know, save money. Now, I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, you might want to go check out this video over here. This is my full Placeit review breakdown. I do an entire walkthrough of Placeit, which you can go and check out if you want to learn more about Placeit. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video. No, I won't. There is no tomorrow's video. I don't do daily videos anymore. Thank you so much for watching.